Neuroblastoma is more likely to cross the midline than Wilms tumor, which is usually confined to the flanks. As well, a neuroblastoma is usually fixed, while a Wilms tumor may be displaced. Opsoclonus-myoclonus syndrome may precede the diagnosis, and because of the strong association, all children with this syndrome need to be evaluated for a neuroblastoma. Many patients already have metastatic disease by the time symptoms develop. Specific symptoms depend on where it begins and where it metastasizes to. Orbital metastasis can lead to ecchymosis and ptosis. Metastasis to the bone marrow can lead to anemia and diffuse petechia. And metastasis to the skin could lead to small blue subcutaneous nodules. Similarly to fail chromocytoma, vanilla mandelic acid and homovanillic acid levels are usually elevated. However, patients with neuroblastoma do not usually experience elevations in blood pressure, diaphoresis, or palpitations. The diagnosis can be confirmed in one of two ways, either by histologic confirmation or by the combination of elevated catecholamines and evidence of bony metastasis. Evaluation for metastatic bone disease is required, preferably with a technetium scan.